Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Strategy. One of the biggest concerns I believe most people have when considering buying an EV or electric vehicle is charging. Um, you know, most of the time it's fine charging at home overnight. Most people can do that or their apartment complex is fine. Uh, the biggest concern, at least for me, was that I, I, I do take road trips frequently. And, um, you know, I might, when I have an EV, I can't just go to a gas station and fill it up in five minutes, right? Or 10 minutes or whatever how easy or hard it is to find a charging station along the way in this case a tesla which is a supercharger and will i have to wait at the charging station at the supercharger way to get in line is there going to be a line um you know i think we have all seen the video of long lines of teslas waiting to secure a spot at a supercharger on a big holiday weekend or big holiday travel day so I want to share my experience for this particular instance. I drove from uh, north, north central Arkansas to northwest Arkansas and I needed to charge uh, to find a supercharger to charge. And this was on Thanksgiving's Eve of 2023. So it is, as you know, what is one of the biggest or and busiest travel day in the United States. Millions and tens of millions or I don't know, hundreds of millions. I don't, I don't know how many people, but it's busy everyone is traveling and um you know airport super busy but also on the road as well so i wanted to see that was my first experience really driving on a big holiday weekend on a road trip trying to find a charging station and charge there and will i have to wait will there be a line did i have would i have to wait like 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes an hour to charge my car in this video we're gonna find out and also toward the end i'm also going to check out the electrify america charging station nearby also in, in northwest arkansas but would be busy let's find out so we got about to uh, an hour left before we get there and we'll go well before we go let's take a look at how busy that test that supercharger is and one nice thing about tesla is that you can actually go take a look at the real-time stat of how busy it is currently. Right now at this uh, Lowell, Arkansas supercharger, it has eight total stalls and four are available. So 50% used up and 50% 50, 50 available. Now I looked at this one earlier this morning around 10 a.m. or 9 a.m. It was full, that was a short wait, but we'll see what it's gonna be like when we get there. Right now it says there's four stalls available, no wait. And on here on the screen, you can see it ha actually has the price, the kind of stats of how busy it is right now on a typical day. This day today is a uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday, and so at a given time, you know what the prediction or the stat is for that time of the day, um, and the price there, obviously. And it's also got some nice pictures of what it looks like and you know of the places and all that stuff. But anyways. We'll go there and we'll see how it is, how busy or how empty it is, and uh, in a little bit. It seems like about 50 minutes out, it has started preconditioning for the battery. I didn't realize it actually preconditioned that long ahead of time. And at this time, there's still five stalls available there. So hopefully when we get there, it will be available for us. Okay, so we are about five minutes out. Let's take a look at the destination. It says the five stars left out of eight, so we should be fine when we get there. Well, let's find out in five minutes. And we can see the supercharger right there, a few cars. Now turn right. Now your destination is on the right. And the gas station is pretty empty as well. I would say 30% uh, empty or 30% used. And uh, here is the supercharger. There are eight stalls and let's see one there, two, one, two, three is being used. And um, we're about to be the fourth one. Okay, I'm gonna go plug it in. Okay, so as you can see here, 
Um, we are at the supercharger station, our destination. Right now it says um, eight stalls, five stalls available, three being used. So I guess that was accurate before um, I plugged it in. I guess this hasn't been updated. I'm not sure how often it updates, but probably every minute or five. But yeah, so super easy right now. Plugged in, it worked. That's the beauty of Tesla supercharger. Um, this station, even though it is a holiday, I guess, holiday, busiest day of the, of the, of the year, I guess, um, uh, Thanksgiving's Eve. And yeah, this particular station is pretty empty, easy peasy. Um, now let's actually, let's take a look at other stations. So you can see on here, um, yeah, I mean, everything around here is definitely some available. Like Ozark in Arkansas is four out of eight is available. Uh, Van Buren in Arkansas, which I stop there all the time, that's five out of six available. Yeah, everything is pretty uh pretty open still. Let's take a look at Tulsa. Twenty four stalls. Oh wow, there's a lot of them there. I guess it doesn't tell me. Oh, twelve stalls available out of twenty four. That's pretty crazy. Um, twenty four stalls, half is being used up. Um, what about? in Perry, Oklahoma, four out of six is available. Yeah, so I guess, um, you know, it's pretty awesome. Let's see here, I guess it's, this is up north. Um, let's take a look at, where's Dallas? I guess here's Dallas. Two out of 10 is available, five out of eight is available. 8 of 8 available, 5 of 6 available, so all these, at least in Texas, Oklahoma, and Arkansas, um, it's pretty awesome, uh, even though it is the busy, busy travel day, it's still mostly available. So, yep, that's it on here. We'll, uh, we'll go check a nearby Electrify America um, station to see how that is, but yeah, we'll let this one charge up a little bit, and then we'll go. And I see the Electrify America charging station right there. In 500 feet, turn right. I guess I'll just go here. Yeah, this is a very tight entrance. Oh, let's crash the rims. Anyways, I am. We are here at the Electrify America. There, you see two are used uh, used up. One is a Lexus is being used and one is ID4. Otherwise two is available. So that's great. So even if you drive a uh, you know a non-Tesla EV in this right in this case um, you wouldn't have to wait. Assuming and that's a big assumption assuming that um, you know the uh, EA charger works which I probably a 50% uh, chance it does, 50% chance it doesn't. So anyways guys, um, I hope this video is somewhat useful. I know it's pretty short and I hope I don't talk too much on here, but um, yeah, days before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving's Eve, um, making a road trip. In this case, it's in Arkansas, Northwest Arkansas, and we visited the Tesla Supercharger and the Electrify America Charger, DC Charger. Both of them were available, and right now it's about two to uh, three p.m. So I went to the Tesla around two p.m., two and a half to two thirty p.m. It was uh, available; at least half the stalls were available. So no wait, great experience. Electrify America, same thing, three p.m. still available. So in this case, there's really no concern, um, and I can't think of a busier time than today. You know, maybe on the way after Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, when everyone's going home, it'll be the same story. But um, but this is Arkansas, right? Uh, you, you know, different time, different place. If you're in California, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more demands. In Texas as well, we did look at the Texas, um, you know, supercharging stations on the map. And they seem to be uh, at least one or two available. So... Yeah, I hope everyone is having a good Thanksgiving today. I know you're watching the, this video; it may have, it may not be Thanksgiving, right? But 
I hope you had a great time. Thank you for watching. And um, if you have any questions, let me know in uh, down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.